Hello, I'm Michael Horowitz, Inspector General for the U.S. Department of Justice. Today, my office released a report concerning the FBI's execution of its factual accuracy procedures for FISA applications, called the Woods Procedures, during the period from fiscal year 2015 to fiscal year 2019. The FBI's Woods Procedures are designed to ensure FISA applications are scrupulously accurate, as required by FBI policy. Today's report details extensive noncompliance with the Woods procedures during this time period. We first identified concerns with the Woods procedures during our review of the FBI's Crossfire Hurricane investigation. We immediately initiated this audit to determine whether the errors we saw in that review were more widespread. In March 2020, we issued a management advisory to the FBI stating that we had reviewed 29 unrelated FISA applications targeting U.S. persons and found noncompliance with the Woods procedures in each one. This included four instances where the FBI had not been able to locate the original Woods file. As described in today's report, additional analysis of these 29 applications by both my office and the DOJ has revealed over 400 instances of noncompliance with the Woods procedures in those FISA applications, four of which were application inaccuracies that the DOJ deemed material. Further, we identified an additional 179 FISA applications for which the original Woods file was missing, destroyed, or incomplete. We believe the shortcomings we identified occurred primarily because the FBI and the DOJ National Security Division did not place enough emphasis or attention to the need for rigorous supervisory review and robust oversight of FISA applications. Today's report makes 10 recommendations to the FBI and the National Security Division, and they agreed with all of them and are already taking steps to address them. To date, we've closed five of those recommendations as a result of these efforts. To read our report, please visit our website, oig.justice.gov, or go to oversight.gov. Thank you for joining me today.